Hi there, welcome back to Newsbeat. I'm Jordan Lawton with your entertainment update. In movie news, the most popular movies in America are Paranormal Activity, Saw 6, Where the Wild Things Are, Law Abiding Citizen, and Couples Retreat. If you're going to the movies, any one of those would be a safe bet. And sticking with the scary Halloween motif, horror films The Texas Chainsaw Massacre and A Nightmare on Elm Street are making their network premieres on Tiger Television this week. For a list of scheduled showtimes, hit up www.tigertv.tv. And it's the moment you've all been waiting for, and definitely my favorite part of the show. It's time to find out what new albums are making their debuts this week. Let's pull from the CD holder of Destiny and see what's up first. Well, it's Michael Jackson's fantastic post-mortem release appropriately entitled This Is It. With all the hype going around about Michael lately, this one's sure to be an instant hit. But my pick of the week is definitely Wolf Mother's Cosmic Egg. If you're a classic rock junkie like myself, this is the album for you. The Black Sabbath of the New Millennium is here to stay. Also, R.E.M. is out with Live at the Olympia. The greatest hits live album recorded in Dublin contains some songs that are rare to R.E.M.'s live performances. Let's see, what else do we have? Well, in five letter band names news, it looks like Sting, Train, and Creed are also out with new albums today. And get excited because the best weekend of the year is just around the corner. Voodoo Fest is coming to New Orleans City Park. And this is an event that will rival even the likes of the Bayou Country Superfest itself. This lineup includes Eminem, The Silver Sun Pickups, The Black Keys, Kiss, Jane's Addiction, Wolf Mother, Mute Math, Lenny Kravitz, The Flaming Lips, and brand new. This is going to be absolutely huge. It really is. On the celebrity news, Rosie O'Donnell's love is on the rocks. Rosie is currently separated from her partner, Kelly Carpenter, but she told Howard Stern that the two lovers are working things out. Stern replied that Rosie better make a decision soon because there will be a bunch of very hot women looking for her. And Brad Pitt had a very minor fender bender on his motorcycle on Saturday. But what you won't hear on the other networks is the trouble that his posse had getting the motorcycle into the back of the truck. Look at these guys. And also, you probably remember Kanye harassing photographers at the Los Angeles International Airport last year. Well, charges were dropped against him Friday after he had paid a civil settlement. And if you're a Billy Mays fan, but just don't know what to dress up as for Halloween, consider this. Billy Mays III is hosting a costume contest in honor of his deceased father. Hi, Billy Mays here for Mighty Mighty. Uh, what, what was that? Did, did you hear that? Oh, well, it must just be my imagination. Anyway, the son of the late pitch man is asking Hi, that... Hi, Billy Mays here. Wait, I definitely heard something that time. Are you guys messing with me? Are you guys... Anyway, anyway, Billy Mays' son will be giving away great prizes, including a tub of OxyClean to the best Billy Mays Hi, costume. Hi, Billy Mays here for what owner? Oh, Hi, Billy Mays here for Mighty Mendes. Hi, oh, Billy Mays. He's, he's right behind me. Hi, Billy Mays. Well, here. that's all for entertainment. Don't touch that doll. Hi, Billy Mays here. Hi, Billy Mays.